where someone's going to interact with this cup and how their mouth is going to fit on the rim and all those different types of things and how the foot is going to look when it's finally finished. But I'll put a little undercut on there so that I can cut it off with the wire easier. And then I'll use this little brush, which actually it's a makeup brush. So I'll use this brush to smooth off the rim and get the clay ready for the slip that I'm about to apply. With some pieces, I'll apply the slip after they're off the wheel. But with cups, I usually put the slip on right away. The cup can handle the slip because it's a small piece. Some larger pieces and bowls will fall over if they get all this wet slip on top of them. So I like to mix this slip up so that it just barely drips off of the brush. This is a, a white porcelain slip with some uh, additives to make it more opaque than it would be. And I just start to apply that on the inside of the rim. And I load the brush up with as much slip as I can. And then rotate it as I apply the slip. It's almost like wringing out a rag. One thing about the slip that really attracts me to it is how much it shows the motion of working on the wheel. So I don't want this stuff to get everywhere so I have to keep that rotation going all the way down the side of the pot. Now I want to add texture to the slip and I'll use this cheap brush that I got from the hardware store with basically it's used for varnish. The cheapest brush you can find is the best brush. And I'll wave that around as it goes up the side of the pot to create brush marks on the side of the pot. And then I put a little bit of slip back on the rim to smooth it off so it gives it a nice clean line. Mm -hmm. 